try to take a break off of BitChute, although I just literally made a video on there, so of course I'm going to try to make something on YouTube, despite the fact that I've actually heard a few things about YouTube's cop rules that I just found out a couple of days ago. So here we go. This subject is going to be about the TikTok ban in the US. And of course, the government is actually working on trying to get this at ban because, for any of you who don't know, TikTok is actually made in, from a Chinese company called ByteDance, and of course, the U.S. actually accused of this app actually spying on people. And of course, the people's reaction all this is like, oh, why are they banning this? They shouldn't ban TikTok and this and that. And then, of course, you have people on TikTok saying that if they do ban it, the only way to use it is to use like a VPN under the Chinese servers. And I'm like, to me, with that VPN thing, like, I really wouldn't have time for all that, so that's just me, to be honest. And the only thing that worries me about the app is the fact that I probably won't be, is that I probably won't be able to use it for something else, like something on the side. He said, but then again, I'm probably not so worried because I can barely touch the thing, since I mostly do a lot of favors and babysitting around the house, so, Yeah. In a way, I'm worried, but not too worried. And if they do come down to the decision to banning the app, which they're still working on, you know, I basically have to resort to something else, you know, which I'll have to try to work hard on that, you know. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, but TikTok's only just, you know, people just doing stupid things. And I don't know why you have an account for it. I'm like, okay, first of all, I made an account for one to know what it's all about, and a way I can say it's it's okay, but then again, you know, you do have the repetitive content on there, like people throwing water on each other, and then people making, you know, scams saying that if you follow someone, you'll get a whole bunch of followers back, and you got the other thing where people say, like, oh, if you try to share it, you gotta explain as to why you're sharing it, which is not true, because I've actually done this a couple of videos, and I click copy on clipboard because I don't really share this stuff on when I was social media like that since I basically suck ass when it comes down to social media and getting like, you know, big support. Unless if it's on a story, that is, that's the only place where people recognize where I actually even post something. But on the main story feed, not so much. I don't know. With stories on social media, you know, you have, people seem to see that more in the actual post because, you know, the chronological order of posts is... It's too much. You know, that, and then I really don't get much appreciation like how I used to before. Like, I don't know if it's something I'm saying, or as I'm doing, but I don't know. I hate the fact that normal social media, it's like you had to put on a stupid insecure mask. Well, actually, not just really insecure, but a mask of some kind just to get some views and likes. And on here, I really didn't experience that with TikTok too much, because, you know, I was actually pretty good on here in terms of like views and likes. Probably not be as much as getting a thousand views for fucking, you know, chopping a slice of chopping some water stream with a scissor. But you know, it's actually pretty good. I think the only video to get like a thousand views is like one meme I made that involved like Lilo and Stitch on there. My favorite Disney movie. So yeah, but um, yeah, I know I probably didn't have much to say and. As far as YouTube cop rules before I forget, there are a couple of things I'm going to mention. Is that um, if you don't set your audience as made for kids or not made for kids, they will automatically set it as made for kids, which is wrong on so many levels because this has made people to claim that how YouTube's bots are broken. And although the only factor that's broken on YouTube is the fact that they're actually bleeding videos left and right, mainly because of the COVID 19 case, still. Both of those are wrong in so many cases because, for number one, not every video is made for kids. And number two, the COVID-19 cases, bleeding videos. Like, that is so wrong. I'm glad I didn't do it to my channel after I had left a couple of months while the whole copper rule thing took in place. So that's one thing. And number two, like, as far as, like, the video content goes, like, Basically, your video has to be completely made for kids. Like, if you make a video of Grand Theft Auto 4, and if you use nursery rhymes, because I've seen this before, real cop rules came up. If you do a video like that, that is what makes the mark the videos is made for kids. But if it's like Roblox and guns, no, they're not going to do it. This is what I've heard from 
or the YouTubers, Kika. He used to have one of his videos that involved like Stranger Things to Mark Twain for kids, but anything involving like Roblox and guns. Like if someone makes a game on Roblox involving like guns like Call of Duty, no copyright made for kids will be made. So that's just that. Now I know about party videos that involve like both kids and adults involved. Like I've been watching a couple of these and I'm like, ooh, that's going to be tough. Like most of these aren't made for kids. Probably only one I saw, but I'm like, I don't know how they managed to get it past, but I guess it makes sense because the music probably might not be child appropriate enough for kids to know. So yeah, and I think it also has a lot to do with your data too, about what age the kids are actually watching the video, or what age the people are actually watching the videos. So I think that also plays a part in it too. You know, just kind of wanted to bring that up. Like, I don't know how often I'll try to make content here. I'll try to do it on both YouTube and BitChute. And I know there's an option on BitChute where I can sync all these videos on there. Nope, I'm good. I think I'd rather leave both comments tend to be separate from each other because YouTube, it doesn't allow certain content. BitChute, it pretty much allows for almost everything. So yeah, just wanted to bring this up. I know it's been a long time coming since I've been on YouTube. And I know I probably might not make a big comeback. I probably might. Heck, I don't know at this point. All I'm saying is, I'm probably coming back to making content on YouTube. So I'll probably see you all next time. Peace.